118 is the current number of elements known to man, and all of them, alongside their properties, are faithfully portrayed in the renowned periodic table. The second most appreciated thing by chemists, only behind the charm of Walter White. Nevertheless, today I would like to introduce you, little sea pig, to one of the seest idea I've ever had since I bought both Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. No, I was kidding, but really, are there seriously people who buy both versions in 2022 spending double the money for basically the same game? Back to the video, due to the fact that the last elements added to the roster were introduced back in the early 2000s, I thought that inventing a new element out of boredom and nothingness could have been a good idea for this little channel, and a great way to celebrate my first 4 subscribers. We have some work to do now. You are truly the crème de la crème. Because of this, you should immediately subscribe and leave a like. First of all, I needed a name. If you look over all the elements, you will notice that their names have various origins, whether they recall their Latin or Greek name, or just refer to a famous scientist, a nation, a planet, or a peculiarity of the element itself. Whereas other ones have just stupid names such as Frenchim. <laughs> At first glance, I thought to name my own element with an extremely cool name that could have also fit with one of the previous themes. And then I saw it. Chad. As a consequence, the name has to be Chadium. Perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. Pretty cool, isn't it? Before continuing, it's fundamental to remember that in the periodic table, elements are organized in 18 vertical columns, known as groups, and 7 horizontal rows, called periods according to the number of valence electrons, which are the farthest electrons from the nucleus, energy levels and properties. However, it would be a shame to compare chadium with other nerd-like elements. This is why I invented a whole new group, the Alpha Group, alongside the first and only corresponding period, the Sigma Period. Now it's time to define the characteristics. Indeed, every element of the same group or period shares some properties with its neighbors. For instance, elements of the first group enjoy exploding like creepers when touching water. That's cool. This is why I want Chadium to explode. But only when held by people with bizarrely big hands Teenagers who are obsessed with my Hero Academia characters, Tyrannosaurus Rex and Sexuals, since I do not have a clue of what they are even meant for, and Pandas. All of this would be easily made possible thanks to its chemical structure. Elements are composed by a compact central core, the nucleus, assembled by a specific number of protons and a bunch of neutrons. On the other hand, electrons are the particles that constantly take a walk around the nucleus. Usually, protons are happy and positive since they do not pay taxes. This is why they enjoy spending their whole life in the same place. Alongside neutrons, which are just straight okay neutral dudes, probably foreign students from Switzerland or something like that. Whereas electrons are like depressed 13 years old boys and girls who are extremely negative about life. And since their fathers did not buy them the latest iPhone, 
sometimes they just run away from home. In Chadium, electrons, protons and neutrons would be replaced by a special subatomic particle known as Gigatron, from Gigachad, of course. I imagine Gigatrons as the stronger versions of neutrons that with their chadness could play both the role of electrons and protons, depending on the circumstances. In nature, Gigatrons would form one of the densest and most oh. compact nucleus due to the fact that they are all gene bros and gene bros are always stuck together, like the B-side of a League of Legends player with the gaming chair. Last but not least, I'm more than sure that now every one of you can't wait for grasping his own gram of chadium. What do you say? How much does it cost? Well, let me just... As you can clearly see, you will need this amount of bitcoins in order to get one gram of chadium. Or you could seek for chadium in nature, spending your whole life trying accomplishing something extremely tough. In fact, chadium can only spawn in chad between 4.11 and 5.11 am which is the time when gigachads usually wake up. However, you'll need to do 1000 push-ups once you arrive in Chad. If you're considered worth it, you will be awarded with one gram of chadium falling from the sky, like um, a feather of a phoenix, I guess. And that was it. I just wanted to do something more unique and funny, so I'm curious to see whether this type of content uh, is successful or not. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Now all you need to do is just subscribing and choosing to watch one of the videos on screen. The one about the T-Rex was quite good, because of this you should definitely give it a try. See ya!